Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Blue Cup Chronicles, where we talk about everyday life situation and simple common sense. I'm your host, Shonda, and I am about to blow your mind. Yes, what is in your cup tonight, everybody? Let me tell you what's in my cup. Some water. <laughs> that is about it. It is Monday, and you know, I had to work today. And to be honest, it should be some tea in that cup because I just want to relax, to be honest. Yes, so it is Monday. We got your Monday episode back. Um, We're going to talk about some gossip tonight, y'all. But yes, how everybody been doing other than that? My Monday been okay. Like I said, I had to work today. So that's why I'm drinking on some water. It was a busy day, y'all. I mean, it was it was busy as hell. It was super busy. Also. Just to let y'all know, I am looking for two more hosts to join Blue Cup Chronicles. So if you guys are interested in being a host on the show, you've watched us before, you know what goes on on here and you would like to be a host on here, definitely email me at bluecupchronicles at yahoo.com. You don't have to have experience, you just must be over the age of 21. Um, and yes, let's, let's, let's talk, let's talk, but let's get down to the gossip today. First thing first, we are going to talk about Kim Kardashian and her faceless damn outfit at the damn Met Gala, y'all. I don't know what the fuck was up with that. When I seen the pictures of that, I said, this bitch is weird. Weird, just like her fucking dumbass ex-husband. I'm sorry. They can be weird two motherfuckers together. They need to get back together. They do. Because that was some weird ass shit that she came in there looking like. But um, whatever. Um, They said she was turning heads. Sure enough, this time without even showing her goddamn face. And it's all thanks to this dumbass outfit her husband and some other person helped her make. But it's just, it's dumb. It was stupid. It was stupid looking. They had a bunch of other people there. Um. Lil Nas X came in some fucking gold Robocop looking ass outfit. I, in, <sighs> I don't know what to say about him no more, y'all. I'm just, I don't know if this shit is just for show. Um, if he's just in a character, if it's to sell a, a record, if it's to piss some people off. But I'm, to be honest, sick and tired of his boisterous ass and, um, I wish you just sit the fuck down. I'm going to say that. But um, yeah, I mean, if you ain't seen the pictures of the Met Gala, you have to go see it. But when she, when Kim Kardashian first walked on there, she literally walked on there with a, a leather, it looked a, a leather jacket, all that shit. I mean, you, you got to see it. Please, people, go, go look at it if you haven't looked at it. Any other time she came in some ball gowns, you know, well, one time she looked like the damn Emmy Award trophy <laughs> in his gold ass suit, like the damn Emmy Awards or Billboard, whatever award that is. They got that gold man. That's what the fuck she looked like. Um, but hey, she got it. She got the money. You go right ahead. You know, I can't go around here sucking dick and making pornos to get exposure. Exposure. So I guess I'll just sit on back and keep doing my podcast show, huh? You know, and hope for the best. Um, do y'all remember Mary Mary Kay Liz Laterno, the one who got arrested for actually talking to one of her students, actually having two kids by him too? Well, the husband got arrested, got busted for DUI. It, it, it's crazy, but her strange husband was arrested on suspicions of driving under the influence after nearly hitting a police car. Law enforcement told TMZ, a Washington State Patrol rep um, basically said that he was driving erotically on the highway around 4 a.m. Sunday when he made an abrupt lane change and nearly struck a Seattle um, police department vehicle. Um, he was pulled over and the state police was also called on the scene and cops say that he had bloodshot, watery eyes, of course, because he was drunk and performed poorly in the field sobriety test. And after he submitted a voluntarily 
um, breath test, he was arrested. The results of his test has not been disclosed, but it is clearly um, didn't help him get off the hook. Um, so he was taken to the jail, taken to jail. But um, yeah, um, he's best known for his relationship with that teacher um, where they made headlines back in the, um, was it late 90s? I think it was late 90s. Um, she was 34, 35 or something like that. And, and, and but yeah, but uh, oh, oh, she's 34. She was 34. And he had four children. Oh, and had four children when she began to have a sex with him. Okay, so now she got six damn kids. Her sixth grade student basically is what he was. Um, so he was either 12 or 13. That's some sick ass shit. But she pled guilty. Um, also giving birth to his kids. She was released and they got married in 2005, split in 2017. And then she died last year of cancer. Um he was by her side and, and she was in hospice and hospice until the end. He was taking care of her. So that's a good husband, I guess, you know. Hey, I guess you could fall in age don't age don't matter, I guess, you know. I can't see myself fucking around with a sixth grader, but uh, ain't no but. That's just nasty. Sorry, Mary. Rest in peace to you, but that's just that's trifling. But yeah, yeah, y'all. Um, Britney, Britney's been in the news. I'm so sick and tired of Britney, but Britney Spears already taking prenup steps after engagement to Sam. That's a good thing, though. Um, Jamie Spears is involved in hooking Britney up with a um a lawyer for the prenup. So her daddy still got his hands, you know, in, in him. But um, those reports are fake. I mean, are false, supposedly. Jamie has no involvement in the prenup whatsoever. But um, yeah, I don't know who made them statements. I guess the statements came out earlier, but they already confirmed that that shit was false. Um, but I don't know. We will see what's going on with Brittany. And um, if she gets married again, who cares? Um, she has more kids, who cares? Um, you know, free Brittany, whatever, who cares? But um, yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, oh, my kids is really up there making some noise. If only y'all can hear all the bumping that they're doing. It's a lot of bumping, a lot of bumping. This water is actually good, y'all. I was really thirsty. Really, 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 really thirsty. Like I said, my ass been at work all day just dealing with a lot of bullshit. So Kind of glad to just get all work and relax a minute. And even if that means just vent on blue cup, then that's what I am going to do. Yes. Let's see. What else do we got for the gossip here? Um, let's see. Um, what do we got here? We got death row inmate Julius Jones may escape lethal ejection life with parole now on the table. Julius Jones, who the hell is that? Let's just see, death row inmate. Let's just give y'all some good news. Oh, that's oh, that's the guy that Kim Kardashian. Yes, death row inmate Kim, Kim Kardashian had been advocating for finally um, got a major break in his uh, fight for freedom. They got the green light to basically maybe walk out one day, but they recommend to commute his death sentence to life with the possibility of parole. Um, so congratulations to you. Um, I'm glad Kim Kardashian did something great. I don't, I don't know how great, but hey, glad you did something great. Yes. Let's go to the topic, y'all, because I'm tired of talking about the about the gossip. That's Jen thing. That ain't my thing. But yeah, we brought you some gossip. So if you want to check out some more gossip, definitely go and visit TMZ, okay? Because they got all the latest gossip for you all. Yes. So let's go to today's topic. Today's topic is breakup to make up. Just like the song say, that's all we do. Love me and you hate me. You know, so make up, break up to make up. What's the point, people? You know that, what's that saying? An ex is an ex for a reason. But what make us go back? to our exes is it because we miss the lonely we, we miss we we lonely we we miss the comfort of being around somebody we just feel like we got to have that person around us or got to have somebody around us or you just miss the, the sex 
um, to make you want to go back, whether it's male or female? What is it that you can miss with that person? You can miss a lot of things, but break up to make up. Why not just fix it first before you break up? Some people break up with the assumption that you're going to get back together anyway. So that's why that song comes up, break up to make up. Because they are already under the assumption that we just broke up for a minute. We'll get back together. I hate that back and forth stuff. I did that back and forth stuff for many, many, many years, many years with my ex. And it was horrible. And every time we got back together, it was worse than the first time. Okay. So it was just like, why do you keep trying with a person over and over again, just for you to continuously to keep breaking up. Y'all see that poster behind me? I know y'all looking at like, oh my gosh, she didn't got a Kobe post. You, I damn sure did. Y'all know I'm a Kobe fan. He's sitting there with his wings spread and staring right at us on this camera. That's right. He by my side every time I record. <laughs> but yeah, some people, you know, break up. And uh, realize later that it was a mistake and they just want to now fix things. And sometimes they become stalkers, <laughs> you know, can't take no for answer because the other person might be completely done with you. They might not want to be, you know, back with you no more. You might have really fucked up some shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't I don't think breaking up and making up is, is a good thing sometimes. It, it, it can it can turn out bad for you because especially if it's a volatile relationship from the jump, you might need to not make up. You might need to stay break, broke up. You know what I'm saying? You don't no, Don't make up, break up and stay break. You stay broke. Plain and simple. Not broke money wise, but, you know, don't get back together. Don't fix it. Then that's just plain simple. Um, and, and that's just how I feel. So. But yeah, you know, I just I just feel like some people just don't need to just try to work on an ex is an ex for a reason. So if 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 I'm breaking up with you, you're gonna have to do some shit to prove some shit to make me think that you're gonna be any different than than, than what you were from before, you know? And typically nine out of ten, they come back, they show you they change for what a week, two weeks. And go back to being a person that they are. So you can find out quick if the breakup and the makeup was even worth it. I mean, why bother with it? Again, an ex is an ex for a reason. If you couldn't work it out before you had to say I was done, then you probably don't need to be with that person. I mean, I'm just saying. That's just my, my reasoning. We all got our own suggestions, but... Maybe you need to take some time apart. Then you'll realize too then that, you know, you just ain't right for each other. You know, um, I hate when people say, but we can still be friends. Hmm. You need some time apart first before you want to jump into being, we can be some friends. So a little space won't hurt. A little space won't hurt at all. You know, so if you can't talk it through, respect each other, needs, boundaries, wants, whatever the situation may be before you actually break it off. Then if, if, to me, if you got to say, I'm done, I'm done, <laughs> then you really done. I get some people say things out of anger, but then you typically would say, I said it out of anger right then and there when you noticed that person was about to get their shit and go. So you will kind of correct that now, unless you just one of them big headed ass people that just don't want to apologize for your fuck ups. I mean, there's some people out here that's like that, but you know, I'm, <laughs> I just, I'm reading comments cause I am live on one site right now. I didn't go live on all of them, but I did decide to go on live today. Uh, one person was like, if I break up with them, Nic Nicolette. Nicolette said, if I break up with them, I'm damn sure ain't gonna go back to them and get them another chance. I'm done. I'm done. That's I that's how I am. I'm I'm done. I'm done. Nicolette, you need to come and join us on Friday. It's the first time I ever seen you comment. I'm on Twitch tonight, y'all. 
Um, I don't know. I, I just got on Twitch. I just wanted to see if it was going to work or if it was going to allow me to get on. And it actually did. So I was happy. I was happy that it let me get on. Um, so I'm just glad that I did. But um, yeah, so that's what we're talking about today. Um, you know, so breaking up just to make up. That's all we do. Just like the song. <laughs> you know? It, let me tell you, if you're going to break up just to make up, let me tell you, if you got some unhealthy relationships, so that way you don't need to make up. If there is physical abuse and you break up, please, people, do not make up, okay? I'm going to say that shit again. If there is physical abuse and you break up, stay the fuck away. Do not make up, okay? Control, okay? Meaning your partner tells you what to do, what to wear, where to go, what friends you can have, any of that. When you finally break up, don't make up. Say the fuck gone, okay? Humiliation. Do your partner like to humiliate you in front of people? I had... One of his cousins going to comment on my page talking about some next time. Say something to me before you talk about me. Bitch, so what? I said something about you. I say something about you again. You didn't like the truth. That's your fault. Sometimes the truth hurt and you needed to hear it. But humiliating. You humiliate the shit out your girl a long time ago. That's why when she broke up, she should have stayed broke up. Plain simple. You ain't going to like that comment either. You should watch me, watch the shows. Cause I know I'm not, I know you're gonna be listening so you can see if I can talk about you again. I'm gonna talk about you again, stupid ass. Um, so you know, if he call your names, put you down. Oh, that's what he put on the comment. He go, then you talking about your husband. I did. I told the truth. Are you mad? He's not mad. Why are you mad? Do you have to lay up with me? You don't. You have to lay up with her. You don't lay when she got lay up with you, knowing that you are who you are, a cheater. So um, shut the fuck up. I'm living my life. He's living his. And fuck you. Now, back on to the thing. So humiliation, you humiliated your wife and um, several times. And she still stayed with you. So people, break up and don't get back together. Don't make up. Plain, simple, you know. Uh, other items to, to let you know how your relationship is unhealthy, how you should break up and not make up. Trust, people. Do you trust them? Trust is everything in a goddamn relationship. And if you do not trust that person, then why the hell are you even with them? Why even get back together just to sit there and mess your own brain up? To sit there and be worrying every five seconds, what he doing, who he with, or what she doing, who she with. If you have trust issues when you break up, please don't make up. Okay? Please don't make up. I'm just saying, okay, communication, you got to have good communication, people, okay, and we cannot communicate without you yelling and breaking up my shit, even if you don't put your hands on me, but you're yelling and punching holes in a wall or breaking doors, when we break up or when you break up, please, people, don't make up, okay? That's an unhealthy ass relationship. Okay. I'm just saying some of y'all don't, don't understand that. Okay. Pressure. If your significant other is pressuring you. Okay. To doing shit that you ain't ready to do. Including sex or whatever else. If you got a crackhead for a boyfriend and now he wants you to snort <laughs> or smoke. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. when you break up people don't fucking make up okay i'm just saying that's that's some good advice for all of y'all them some are some unhealthy ass relationships okay so in them kind of relationships when you break up you don't need to make up okay unhealthy 
period, point blank. That's all I'm going to say. Just unhealthy relationship. And that's not good. That's, that's not good to have that. Um, so, you know, there's so many breakup songs out there and, and, and making up, especially that one. Like I said, the stylist, I love that song. And probably when I get off recording, I'm sure I'm going to go play it because this song is in my head now. But um, yeah. But the period right after the breakup can be extremely difficult for some people. You're going to be crying. You're going to feel that loneliness all the time. Oh my God, I miss him. I miss him. I miss her and I need him back. And especially, especially if you part of ways over bad, on bad terms, you're going to be constantly thinking about that person. You're going to be mad, but you're going to miss the sound. You're going to miss them a little bit more. But over time, over time, I promise you, okay, things will definitely get better. <laughs> definitely get better. And you can heal emotionally. You understand? <laughs> and in such situations, situations, I'm telling you, it definitely is not advisable for you to call them. Okay? You just need to just don't get back with them because it will result in fucking up your emotional healing that you've already done for yourself. You know, get up, get up, get up, get up. That emotional healing. Now you got to have some emotional healing. That's the wrong song, right? Sex is sexual healing. I said emotional healing. I didn't think I'm the healing way. So yeah, you don't want to mess up your emotional healing. After you sit there and fix your own damn self, you don't want to let that person back in your motherfucking space that you've healed yourself. No, that's that's toxic. That's toxic, people. That's toxic. And sometimes you just need to just let that fucking shit work. Because look at it like this. Do a relationship workout after y'all get back to after a breakup. How much of a relationship? Maybe 50%, 50%, I would say, workout. I, I might be giving a higher number, to be honest. But I'm going to say 50%, maybe half of y'all work out after you get back together. And that's only because yet you had a good person from the jump. They wasn't a bad person. They just had some fucked up ways. Plain simple. But if you got somebody that got some fucked up ways, a bad person, all around, abusive, controlling, or whatever the situation may be, when you break up, stay the fuck away. Don't you make up. That would need to stay. They, they, they need to make a song to say that. Break up. Please don't make up. That's all y'all do. I'm sick of hearing it. I'm sick of hearing you. I'm sick of taking all your calls of you crying. Okay, I wish I could have rammed on that one. I ain't on wild and out yet, y'all. Give me a minute. Once I get on wild and out, I'll start spitting some shit for y'all. I don't want, you know, I don't want to mess up my 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 shit yet. Y'all y'all be stealing shit too, so I don't want y'all stealing my shit. So, mm -mm. can't have y'all using my freestyles, flows, and shit up here. Mm -mm. But yeah, so breaking up just to make up. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because in the end, it ain't going to work. Okay? You can't change him and he can't change you. They have to want to change themselves. So if you actually had to say those words, I'm done. It's over. Pack your shit. Move out or give me my key or don't call me. Don't text me. Block their number. If you got to do any of that and you couldn't work it out first by communicating, talking it over like adults, talking over your problems like adults sitting down trying to work it out and communicating with each other then and there, maybe get some piece of paper and pencil, write down some pros and some cons. If you couldn't do that shit from the jump, then you don't fucking need to make up, okay? You need to stay the fuck away. 
I got people that a lot of, you know, I ain't gonna say a lot, but I got a couple girlfriends that I just, you got to stay away from them. Some of them I can't stay away from. Yes, I can. One particular, kind of hard, you know, was with the damn girl for 13 damn years. It was really hard to stay away from her. Um, and it's just because we had a lot in common. There was a lot of pros that you can sit back on a piece of paper and write down and go, hmm, what are the good things about this person that you love and that you'll be willing to work things out with them? And when you can have those pros like that and you got more pros than cons, then I advise you to work that shit out first before you say I'm done. Because them are some words sometimes that you cannot reverse. Just because you want to get back with that person don't mean that person want to get back with you. They might be actually fucking done. You might have said it thinking that, you know, this person going to give you another chance or thinking, oh, we'll get back together. And in their mind, they are literally fucking done with you. They have dealt with so much of your bullshit that they can't take no more of it. As they say, stick a fork in me. I am done. OK, so you got some of them people that you break up playing with playing games with them and actually fuck your relationship up doing shit like that. So if you one of them game players that like to sit there and play games with people for attention, then um, or, you know, whatever in, in a relationship, then you got some fucked up. Feel. You know, I can't be around people like that. I know a few people like that. that like to when they break up, they do crazy shit to get attention. And that ain't good. I like looking at his picture right there, y'all. Not trying to get off the subject, but that Kobe picture is like bling. I was gonna put it back there on that back wall, but I said no. I want to put him right here. Mm, just look at him, right by his plaque, with all of his beautiful career achievements on there, right next to his NBA 2K21 and 21 karat gold. Yeah. I'm a Kobe fan, y'all. I'm going to get a shirt and I'm going to hang this shirt up. Socks, hat, all that shit. I'm a Kobe fan. Miss you, Kobe. Rest in peace. See, now that was a good, see, that relationship, that's a prime example of relationship right there where you break up to make up. Now, him and his wife broke up because he was cheating. Okay. And um, they made up. Why? I don't know. Maybe because he got money and she didn't want to leave it. Or was it real love? Looks like to me it might have been real love because they had a couple more kids after that. So I'm going to say it was real love. Uh, maybe they was one of them 50% that I was talking about. But, you know, if, if, if you have to break up instead of literally sitting there working it out, then you, you, you just need to just let it go. You know, if you need to know how to find out if your relationship has ran this course, you, you just if you noticing yourself feeling really distant from your partner, it ran this course. If you got less than less things in common, it ran this course. You know, if you just feeling disinterested in them anymore. It's ran its goddamn course, okay? You just numb to them. Like, just they touch you, you just lay there. It's ran its course, people, okay? It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't shit you can do to change that at that point. So that's when you need to break up and not make up. If you want them people that make up because you just don't want that other person to feel bad or you don't want to, or that other person made you feel bad about you breaking up with them because they crying and all the rest of that shit, you too goddamn soft. I'm going to need you to grow some, grow some balls. Okay? For real. Um, <laughs> so some people just out here to play a lot of mind games and, and, and I just don't have time for that kind of shenanigans. That's why I said I do, so I ain't got to be out here on a search thing. You know, so if you break up and do the cheating, don't get back together, people. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm so glad me and him have an understanding about girls. You know, 
Uh, we have an understanding about guys too. It means don't fucking do it, Shonda. That's what they understand to me. That means if you want your marriage to end, you go ahead and fuck with a guy. That was straight up in this marriage quick as hell. And that's something that I don't want to do, nor do I tend to do, you know? So, but, you know, if, 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 what that? Oh, um, <laughs> sorry, reading the comment, but, you know, it just, it just, I don't know, people. Some of y'all, it's just, I'm lost on some of y'all relationships. I, I get inbox messages so much about people and their questions and concerns about relationships. And I appreciate everything that y'all, you know, reach out to me and say. Um, but y'all know my 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 thoughts on things is a thought process is a little bit different <laughs> than some of y'all. I'm non tolerance. I don't have time for bullshit. If I feel like any way in hell you wasting my time, guess who done with you? Now I'm 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 so done with you so quick, fast, in a hurry. You, I'm already at the door. Okay, quick, real quick. So, you know, I just I don't feel like a relationship can be repaired after you've broke up to a certain extent. Um, if you can't communicate and work that shit out beforehand, then you probably don't need to be together. Seriously, because communication is everything. And before you finally say, I'm done with that person, then if you can't work that shit out and you ain't getting nowhere by talking to them, then you probably need to say, I'm done and just be done. Just be done. Don't backtrack. Don't do any of that. But yes, today is going to be a, a short episode again, y'all. It's Monday and uh, Shonda Tide. And I get off work and immediately come and record, you know? So I do appreciate all of y'all listening to in the end of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you do join us every Monday and every Friday at 7.30 PM Eastern standard time. Remember we are live every Friday at 7.30 PM. I will be live this Friday on um, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, um, my, my Facebook page, all of that. If you miss any episodes, you can catch up on those on Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Google, Buzzsprout, and many, many more. We are listed on a lot of sites. Also, make sure you follow and leave us a review. Also, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Blue Cup Chronicles. And remember, blue is spelled B-L-E-W, like I blew, yes. Be sure to also visit the website at bluecupchronicles.com. You can also subscribe to that. Um, also, email us at bluecupchronicles at yahoo.com. Ideas and topics. You can send us any kind of ideas and topics. We do have some back stuff, some um, stuff on our website, some t-shirts, some mugs. Definitely check that stuff out as well on there. But you guys don't know how much I appreciate all your love and support that you have been given. Blue Cup, if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be where we at right now. And remember, I am definitely looking for people to join my show as a host, please do not be afraid to reach out to me at bluecupchronicles at yahoo.com. Even if you don't have any kind of experience, just please, please reach out to me as soon as you can. If you're interested, where we want to hear from you. Okay. Again, that email is bluecupchronicles at yahoo.com. All right. Thank you all again for joining us. Bye-bye.